The former Disney star presented a strong makeup look while styling her luscious dark hair in a slick back way. The businesswoman added lengthening black mascara to her dark eyes to emphasize them, and then painted her lips a vibrant red color. In order for the viewer to see her from above, the Come and Get It singer took the picture from below. Following the debut of the What's In My Kitchen cooking series on YouTube, Bieber has come under fire. Fans are making comparisons to Selena's streamed television program, Selena Plus Chef, which has been available for almost three years. For years, the creator of Road has been accused of copying the star of only murders in the building. As critics dubbed Bieber's most recent endeavor a rip-off, the criticism intensified this week. Haley really needs to stop copying Selena and she should focus on herself, one person tweeted, while another added, she wants to be left alone but copies Selena constantly. However, Bieber referred to what's in my kitchen. In a statement that was provided to The Hollywood Reporter, Natural spin-off of her Who's In My Bathroom series, which has welcomed celebrities like Kendall Jenner, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Emily Ratajkowski. The first of the six episodes, which was made available on Wednesday, has her cooking her signature chicken wing recipe in the house she lives with her husband Justin Bieber. Other dishes will include pizza toast and her homemade version of the $17 strawberry glaze Eruhan smoothie. The series was produced by the skincare expert in association with OBB Media, with funding provided by Hexclad. A sarcastic Twitter user wrote, HBO Max didn't want her, while others asserted that Bieber was projecting a single white female atmosphere with the show. This girl is obsessed with Selena, someone else insisted. Look now a remake of Selena plus Chef Cook Show. Another remarked, in reference to Gomez's Hulu series Only Murders in the Building, she'll announce a murder mystery comedy show co-starring Tim Allen and Jerry Seinfeld. Gomez urged people to stop harassing and tormenting Bieber on Instagram stories in late March when she started receiving death threats. Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity, she wrote. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Bieber thanked Gomez for speaking out on her own Instagram stories, sharing that they had been discussing how to move past this ongoing narrative between them once and for all. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together, she continued. Things can be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. In the end I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy or compassion. To emphasize their friendship, Bieber and Gomez each started following the other on Instagram.